I, I first just want to say thank you to everyone who came and testify. I, I'm so sorry you have to keep doing this. I know it is not easy. The vulnerability that you've shown today is so courageous, and so I want to say thank you for doing that. Someone in the audience mentioned that uh, they're, they feel sympathy for individuals who identify as transgender. I want to remind everyone that they do not need your sympathy. They're not asking for your sympathy. They're asking you to stop harassing them and getting the middle between people and their doctors. Now, I have, I'm blessed to have really great state health insurance, all of us here do, and I'm paying into a pool that provides coverage for rectal dysfunction, and that's fine, I don't care. The whole point of insurance is that we're all putting money into a pool, many of us who are young and healthy, we don't use it as much, that I can help someone who does need to tap into that insurance for some sort of medical need. That's the entire point of health insurance. When we get in between people and their doctors and start to decide what coverage we think is appropriate versus not, it's not about safety anymore. Now it's just about political parties. It's about the latest Fox News headline, the latest fundraiser, the latest attack of and, and manipulation of terms like groomer, which all of us up here have navigated just because we want to defend members of our community that are so deeply misunderstood. And let me tell y'all, if you truly want to understand the implications of your bill, listen to the folks who spoke today and talk to everyday Floridians who are telling us not to do this. I get very frustrated when I hear folks testify and folks sponsor bills of issues they clearly don't understand. And whether it's how insurance works or the point of driver's licenses and what Florida has historically done with driver's license until maybe three weeks ago, it's just deeply inappropriate to pretend like we're the ones out here who don't understand. I mean, I have trans friends, I have trans constituents, and, and I can tell you that this is not a bill anyone's asked us for. And I also just want to stress that if you don't understand what it's like to be trans, you know what it's like to feel different. Maybe you were the shortest kid in class. Maybe you were the tallest kid in class. Like every one of us knows what it feels like to be different. And so I encourage you to tap into that emotion and realize that you are making it so much harder for everyday folks just to be themselves and fit in. And so with that, members, I encourage everyone to vote down this bill. Thank you.